Simone? Oh, I was just testing. Hi guys and welcome back on my channel. I know it's like one month and a half I'm not releasing video but I was working in different projects and this one is one of my projects. I designed and 3D printed the Furious Power Fist from Fallout 4 and uh, it was challenging project and uh, I want something more challenging uh, so I decided to uh, design the way the frontal part will move like in the video games I have created this kind of piston with the spring inside so I hope everything works I will build it and we will test if the frontal part can move like in the video games uh, for this time I decided to put a time lapse of me designing the weapon because a lot of you always ask him how I did or what program I use so for these things I use uh, Rhino 3D and for the texture here on the frontal part I receive a bit of help from uh, Ricardo I will leave all the link of Ricardo on the, uh, the social media in the description uh, he just give me a, a bit of texture on this piece like uh, it seems like more a rock uh, using ZBrush and uh, if you are new in the channel and want to see some time lapse of the printing how it works 3D printing I leave you uh, here or here uh, a couple of videos like the Fiora Baguette or the um, uh, Project Fiora's World so you can check how it works 3D printing uh, how I print all this piece so here you go the time lapse of me designing like the time lapse of the design so now we will start to uh, build all together uh, how you can see I designed the way pretty much to print everything in the right color uh, some parts like these little parts and a little parts here is not in the right color but I prefer print all together so to have less and less post processing possible uh, and I will glue some parts together, some parts are screwed together, like the piston are just screwed together and uh, we will see how it works, if it works like in the video game So it's finished, it's amazing, I mean, I'm really impressed about the final result, how you can see and uh, I will probably improve the design because, I mean, you can like move it but I think you need like some uh, guide, like maybe uh, inside the props to keep in the right position when you push the props but you can move it and it's really light I really like it, I feel really good, different people try it and uh, uh, they fit, so I think it's quite nice size. And I will release this model on my mini factory, I will leave the link down below in the description, probably in the second line, so you can click and if you have a 3D printer print in your place and send me a photo if you, if you print it. And, um, 
Uh, I hope you like this uh, this uh, project, and we will see soon with other video. I probably will do some other kind of props or some smaller object to keep more active the channel. And um, I think it is pretty much this. And if you want to check more, maybe a bit better picture, go on my social network or on my mini factory. You will see the picture of the object. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Uh, I hope you like it and see you in the next video. Hi guys and welcome back in this video. Uh, how you can see we have this huge box. We have inside a 3D printer uh, from Dremel. Uh,